Let's say, for example, you did something like I did and you took a picture. You see that the statue is not directly in the center and it's kind of bugging you because it kind of ruins the image. If you right click in the healing brush tool, you'll see there is something called content aware move tool. If you don't see it in here, you can right click at the bottom here where the lines are or the dots. Go to edit toolbar and it may be in the extra tools. We need to get ourselves a line directly in the middle. We're going to select the first tool and you want to get yourself a ruler. You press Control or Command and R and this will toggle it off and on. Once you've got yourself the ruler, you then want to go to the shape tool. Right click in here, get yourself the rectangular tool. You want to hold shift, left click and then drag this out to get yourself a nice even square. You can minimize this, press Control and A or Command and A and then go to the first tool, align this to the center. Go ahead and press Control and D to deselect it. So what you want to do is you want to left click and then drag it out from the ruler to get yourself a guideline. And once you get to the center, it will snap onto it. You can also get yourself a Y guideline as well. After you've done that, we can hide this one, go ahead and press Control and H to toggle it off. We're going to use that later on. But for the time being, you want to right click in the healing brush tool and get yourself the content aware move tool. Make sure the mode is on move, have it on four for the structure and then zero for the color. You then want to left click and then drag yourself a selection around the object or person you wanted to move. You just want to go to the very first one and then let go of it and this will get yourself a selection. Go ahead and press Ctrl and H to toggle the grid lines back and then make sure that you're selecting the content aware move tool. Left click and then drag this anywhere you want it to place. So for example, we want it to be directly in the center. So right about here is the center. And then you just simply want to go into the first tool and then this will start to apply it. And as you can see, it now has moved to its new location. If you press Ctrl and D and then Ctrl and H to toggle it off, you can see the results. They look really good. It's not going to be perfect, so you will get some areas. For example, the bit on the wall right here isn't looking so great. But that's fine because we can easily fix that by going to the third tool down, right click in here and go to the polygonal lasso tool. Once you've got this one selected, we're going to hold Alt to Option key. Zoom in a little bit more. You want to left click, get yourself a straight line and just fill in that missing gap. With this tool, if you make a mistake, you can press backspace and then that will go back a previous line. Once you've got to the very last one, hold control, left click, and then that will connect it up. The tool that we're going to be using is the clone stamp tool right here. You then want to hold alt, click on an area, Use the square brackets on your keyboard to make it smaller or larger. And we're pretty much going to copy the textures over from the side. Hold Alt, click on the area and then sample it over. We're basically recreating the wall right here. So yeah, once you're happy with it, press Ctrl and D to deselect it. If you want to make it more softer on the edge, you can use the blur tool which is right here, and then that will blur the edges a little bit more, making it look more realistic. There we go. That bit's done. We're going to move on to the bit right here. So same as last time, get yourself the polygonal lasso tool, fill in that empty gap, continue the wall, hold control, connect it all up, get yourself the clone tool again, copy the texture, make the size a bit bigger, and yeah, just fill in that missing gap, make it look like a real wall rather than the copied and paste look. So we're going to copy the texture from here, put it onto there like so. And there we go, that is looking good. Control and Z to undo if you make a mistake. Control and D to deselect it. We're just going to zoom in right at the bottom here. Now the difference between the clone tool and the healing brush tool is that the stamp one is more sharp on the edges. We're just gonna fix this bit as well. Back to the clone tool, copy the texture over to here. 
Control and D. And there we go, we are now done. And if we press Control and H again to get the guideline, this is looking a lot better than before where it wasn't really in the center.